But, uh, yeah, so I did that, and then there might have been a couple... Oh, like, I came up with buying. Like, I saw that another cookie needed to be bought. And then I'm doing, like, the any percent cliff skip in, uh, in Tucson, the new one. Because that's a new thing. And then, um... Like, I, I, I didn't have enough HP in the beginning after the stairs glitches, so we sort of theory crafted on just getting the burgers. Because at first I was like, you know, maybe I'll buy another cookie or I'll buy a boil or I'll buy a, uh, I'll buy something else, you know? And then we're both like, wait a minute, there's hamburgers just sitting in in Onet. Why don't we just get that? So there, there were quite a few things. Like I said, I would say that this route was pretty much like... 85 90 percent done and then we kind of you know I, I had a bunch of questions for him because they were his notes and then we kind of hashed out let's call it 90 percent done and then we kind of together hashed out uh five percent and then i would say like i did five percent on my own or so five or ten i don't know but it's mo, mo this is overwhelmingly mostly ultimo's route what's up jorts but uh, like I said, he pretty much gave me like a a nearly finished product and was like, here you go. You know, you just got to put the finishing touches on it. Go through it because, you know, some of the things, some of the things were just assumptions, like the whole Tenda thing. And when I got there, it didn't work. I was like, yo, this doesn't work. And he's like, all right, we'll fix it. And then there was something else we had to fix as well. I don't remember what it was. But I never, as you can tell from my attempt count, I never really grinded this category. I kind of just ran it a few times and that was it. I think there were a couple places where it said to like go out of bounds from like here or there. And I may have, you know, made like some small changes or whatever. Oh, so Hunter, what, what was Hunter saying? He said you don't have to trigger Apple Kid before. What what was that before? Was it the Shyness book or was it before before Starman? Maybe he's still here and he'll tell me. I don't remember. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter what comes next. In fact, the point is that you don't have to do it. So I would have to... I completely forgot about that. Let me look. Um, so after the tent, instead of going to Tenda... Okay, it was, it was just before Starman base. It would... Um, I would just go to Foresight instead. Cool. That, that doesn't really change too much. I just, I just, in, in, after the tent photo, I'll just teleport to four side. Easy. Thanks again to Hunter for that. This is a pretty hard route, though, with the um, the stairs glitches. The any percent style. I practiced the shit out of those, man. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that I got them so, uh, so quickly. In that run earlier. All right.
Let's see what we can do. Oh, one other thing I forgot to look at was Ness's inventory in the uh, in the nightmare fight because it was wrong as well. But I think that was because of the skip sandwiches. I don't even think I'm going to mess with those. I'm just going to commit to the manip. So yeah, that'll be a nice, uh, nice time save not having to go to Tenda. Sub DC code. I changed the Siri hype emote. Whoops. I put it back like it used to be with the kind of zoomed in look, but it's sort of a, a compromise between the old one and the new one. It has uh, thinner lines because that was the whole entire reason I got it redrawn was because the lines were made thicker because when it was originally drawn, it looked like the hype expression didn't really didn't really come through very well at 28 by 28. So it was zoomed in, but when it was zoomed in, the lines got thicker, and the thick lines clashed with all the other emotes. So I had gotten that version, but that wasn't actually what I had asked for. I had asked it just to have it redrawn like it was originally done. There was just a miscommunication. So I had it redrawn, and uh, I pretty much remembered why we zoomed it in in the beginning. Because a few people even told me that you know, it didn't really look that good. It looked like Paula had, like, soulless eyes and she was staring off into the void or something. I think is what someone said. So, the version it is now, I just updated it earlier. It's sort of an in-between. It's a compromise. The, li the lines were basically just thinned out. But I wanted to do that before I went on. Like, I'd been meaning to upload that the past few days, and I kept forgetting. But I wanted to make sure I did it before I went on hiatus. Yo, Wizard, takes for three months, man. With Twitch Prime. Appreciate the resub. So, other than Magicant and Gygus, that last run was pretty good. And I hit the Cave of the Past Manip every time. Oh, I need to remember to... Uh... not move the teddy so early really I, I might as well just get rid of the teddy honestly since i have healing beta there i can just cure it that's probably just as fast if not faster than moving the teddy and then and then dropping it later plus the teddy was adding a lot of lag since you already have the full party in areas that you normally don't each kid is a sprite and the teddy is another sprite The fuck is that? That's a five head. On a four head, that's a five head. What's up, Ginger? The fuck is that thing? You certainly did. Boop, 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 boop. 
Another fucking six head, dude. Why the hell is it forehead so big? It's forehead. Cool, I can just hold left coming out of there. That's nice. <laughs> the three head. I like this one because you can actually see the barricade. I feel like it's better for the viewers. You can actually tell what the hell's happening. Because everyone's always like, what's happening? Because you can't see it because it's happening off screen. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck you, stupid ants. You, you see what I'm talking about with the barricade? You can actually see it up here. Whereas normally it's off screen. Not as good for the the viewing experience. Shit. Uh what do you mean? You mean like the what platform? Or what system? Uh, console. What do you mean, LR? Yeah, so Wii U and uh, SNES Classic, they don't run as fast as the console. The console actually runs at like 60.1 FPS. Although they don't emulate lag as well, so... They, they save time on lag, but... The console speed differences throughout the whole entire run. Plus, I think there's like input delay on Wii U. I've heard that it's because of the upscaling, though. So, it's actually faster if you play on... Well, I mean, not the run is faster, but the input delay is better if you use composite instead of HDMI. Because it only upscales if you do HDMI. It won't look as good, but the game will be more responsive. I've never... That's just what I've heard. I don't have one, so I've never done it myself. Really good cliff skips, by the way. Yeah, no EU. Oh, sorry, Adelara. Uh, what does component do upscaling? Because component can do 1080i or 720p. Hello. Okay, that's probably what you would want to do then, because the the scaling is what adds the lag, the input delay. But the component, aren't the component cables expensive? No, I'm thinking of GameCube. But yeah, that would be the that would be the best. Yeah, that's less common stuff though. Okay, I must be thinking of GameCube. Damn it, dude, I forgot to drop the bat again. I'll do it right now. I think I looked at my notes.
I think I heard about that, Nitros. I know Dreamcast did uh, VGA. No way, Cyphus. I don't believe it. I don't believe. <clears throat> Talking about your teeth? Like if you get your wisdom teeth taken out or whatever? Or are you just talking like bone density? Like overall bone density or whatever. There's a spoopy skeleton inside you. Hmm. Which ones? I knew about the skull. Although you're comparing to like an infant though, right? Cause I know there's like a soft spot. I like, didn't they used to do, didn't they used to do like abortions that way, which is horrible. I feel like I read that somewhere. People are fucked up, man. I don't actually I don't even think abortion would be the right word. It would be infanticide. Like I've heard of like just like stabbing them through the soft spot or whatever. Fucked up, man. Not with a coat hanger, something like with a hat pin or something. Like some old ass shit. Dude, people were fucking brutal back a long time ago. People were fucked up, man. It's the photo man. It's the eject. You're like, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Fuzzy pickles, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I want the goat. I don't want the dog. Fuck. I feel like the dog would get me. Uh, why did there have to be a dog fucking the goat? That's crow. Dude, give me a goat, dude. There we go. That was weird. Got a red from the front. <laughs> I tried to turn around. Must have been like frame perfect. At least there's a two round. Got your goat, dude. He did. You would have a goat emote. That's perfect. All right, sell the gun and spray. Dude, multiple people came in thinking I already moved because I was gone for three days. I wish it was only going to be three days. I wish. 
I'm not looking forward to this bullshit. Oh, oh, oh. Like I said, minimum one week. More than likely two. But it could be up to three or even four. I don't I don't think it'll be more than four. But knowing my luck, I guess it could. Yo, Sergeant Chief, thanks for the four months, man. Shh, don't tell him my master plan, dude. I mean, you know, there's other people trying to get records, too. Like Doc's trying to get glitchless back. Other people are doing any percent. No one's really trying to get boogie or debug. I think I forgot the safety save. I'm just gonna YOLO this. Yeah, I wish. I wish. I I'm gonna send out an announcement before I go on the hiatus. I mean, if you're in the Discord, you would have seen what it was. Like, three nights ago, I was just working on the route. And oh, and I had to go to the storage unit. Two nights ago, I streamed, but my internet fucked up. I streamed for less than an hour, and yesterday I hurt my hand. Smacked it really hard on a fucking doorknob like an idiot. Reflect, thanks for the host, man. What's going on? People want Boogie, they just don't want to take what, do what it takes to get it. Which is burgerless. No one wants to do that. Well, there's going to be one more stream before I move. Tomorrow will probably be the last one for a few weeks. Like, I'm going out of town to visit relatives, and then I come back staying in the condo for a week. And then beyond that, I, hopefully after the condo stay, it's done. Hopefully I don't have to go to my aunt's or go to any other fucking rentals or anything. Outlaw dancing? What? Dirty dancing? Easy clap. Pog you. So I'll save time from not, uh... Well, actually, I probably won't, because it took forever to get a goat. But, uh... I didn't safety save. Do 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 do. What's the day? Today is, yeah, Wednesday. Tomorrow will probably be the last day because I'm moving out Saturday morning. So I'm going to have to be packing over the next couple days. And there's no way I'm going to be able to stream Friday night and then, you know, tear my shit apart at like midnight because I got to be out at like 10 a.m. on Saturday. So um, I won't be able to stream Friday night. But once, once this is done over these next few weeks, hopefully I won't have to fucking do this anymore. Been a pretty fucked up eight months. I mean, I shouldn't have even had to move to this place, but the fucking septic tank overflowed to the other one. And then I shouldn't have even had to move there, but the fucking condo had damage as well, and had to have the walls torn out. I'm just ready for this shit to be over. I'm not gonna lug my computer to the condo for a week. Cause it's like, you know, I gotta go up an elevator. And it's really annoying. Having to make like multiple trips with like luggage carts and shit. Plus, I'm always afraid I'm like lugging like thousands of dollars worth of shit. Afraid of getting fucking mugged and someone stealing it. Like every time I was moving that shit, people were always eyeballing it. Like, look the other way, motherfucker. Dude, I said, look the other way. Don't look at my shit.
Yeah, I'm just used to it. I mean, I was getting a little annoyed there, as you could tell, but I just went and got a snack. What's up, Lightning? Quack. Uh, okay. Put the fat birds in the bag and nobody gets hurt. Hey, Gary Bear, thanks for luck, man. Appreciate it. Oh, what happens? Why a term? Did you just lose a run? I thought you were just making a, a general comment there. Sorry to hear that, if so. I love how you just run right into it. Fuzzy pickles. Let's see if I can get this trick this time. Oh, I didn't have to use the soundstone. I could have used the map here. What was it? What killed you? It's three. One. Timing on this is very tight. I messed it up last time because I got stuck. What spawn was it? Think I got it? Copy the file. Eat the hamburger and go up. Ooh, ouch. You can hypnotize those, I think. I can't remember if it's hypno or para. Got it. I want to say it's Hypno. Where are we going? The lawn. Guy's kind of in my way. Dude, what the fuck? 21, 19, 17, 15. Okay, this is the hard part. This is the one that uh, it took me a few tries earlier let's get this shit first try what do you say I, I would be very surprised if i got this first try i think it took me like five tries earlier which is still very good because this one's timing based there's just no way to make it 100 percent consistent unless you're just that good at practicing and timing it I like that one. Really? I didn't get that. Really, dude? He turned around. I thought I had it. I'm really surprised that wasn't good. That must have been like a frame from not working. Or a frame from working. Because he, uh... There's sometimes I get it where he moves, but he doesn't turn around. And doesn't work. But he turned around. That should have been good. That must have been like a frame off. Really surprised about that one. It was close, though. I mean, at least that was close. 
But sometimes I just completely botch it, like I'm not close at all. Same thing. Really, dude? Ugh. Why is that happening? I've legit never seen that. Maybe it's maybe where I saved. Did I save kind of in a weird spot on the phone? Nice and doing. Put some pics in my Discord. Come on, baby. Normally, the first one is the easy one. I don't know why I'm having trouble with it here. Let me, let me see where I'm saved at on the phone. That looks like dead center. Memeda, do you count debug menu? Because if so, it's 11.39. I think I got it. Yeah. So 11.39 with the D... Oh no, dude. This isn't going to work. I got 7 HP from the cookie. This isn't going to work. I'll go for it. It's different. I think it's on this different timing. Yeah, I got the butterfly. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. So Memeda, if you go to the debug menu run, that's the fastest with any glitches. Some people don't like the uh, the debug menu, though. And it's uh, 48.15 without the debug menu. So I'm not sure what happened there. The, uh, the cookie healed me for seven, which is not supposed to do. It's supposed to heal for six, and it messed it up. Well, I have the world record for both of them, so either way. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. This is taking longer than last time, I think. Debug's cool. Oh, I didn't I didn't think that was good. I used the cookie kind of late though, because I didn't think it was good. That might affect the timing here. Debug frame perfect input on two controllers. Plus it's random whether you get the chance to do it. Oh, dude, that was so close. I think the cookie... I ate the cookie too late because I didn't think I got it. Because that was the exact same animation as the others. Yep, on two controllers at the same time. So this run's already kind of dead. This is taking way too long. Well, you don't do the whole run. There's just one trick that you have to do that. Really? That's not good? Dude, that looked perfect. I, maybe I saved in a weird spot. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble here. 
Like, I was practicing this earlier, and I was getting the first one, like, every time. Because the timing is feeling different. I've already been here for, what, like, 15 minutes? No. About 10 minutes. Hey, Kalfu, thanks for the eight months, man. Maybe I just got lucky earlier. Because I think I got this on what, like the fourth try earlier? About fucking time, dude. I mean, that, those are hard tricks, but still. I feel like I should have had a couple of those. A couple of those I feel like I got robbed. Keep it going. Time save for next run, right? At least I don't think anybody will steal the route because I think they'll practice those tricks and they'll be like, fuck this. <laughs> like, that shit's hard, dude. It's hard. There's no visual cue. Um, uh, I'm using the music as like an audio cue. But yeah, I, I feel like most people would probably try that and after like a couple hours, they'd be like, fuck this. Fuck it, dude. I'm not doing this. This is stupid. Like, I was even starting to wonder if it was too hard. Because, like, I'm not even sure if Ultimo intended for me to do this or not. Because he talked about figuring out the HP to set it up. I almost feel like he meant to... He intended to go inside and save and do it again. But I was like, fuck it, dude. I'll just do both of them back to back. Fuck it. If I can do one, I can do two. Right? Because that's faster than going in, saving, doing the second file, dying on the stairs, and loading it again. But at this point, I'm committed to it. Like I said, a couple of those, I mean, even on the ones that didn't work, I was very close. Because a couple of those, I'm, I was surprised it didn't work. Uh, do the Mother 2 command and you'll see some of theirs. They have a separate board. Really, dude? Ugh. I didn't go high enough to reload it. That's stupid. There you go. But nah, they don't have any English records. Um, Ox was, aka Nep Loli now, he had the record at one point. He's the only Japanese runner I know of. Also, Nemi. I'm not sure if Nemi is Japanese or not. I've heard people say it. Yeah. That's really cool that you can get the, uh, the Hawkeye out of bounds like that. The reason why I'm walking through here is sometimes out of bounds, there's still hit, hit detection, collision detection for certain items, and you can't walk through those chairs for whatever reason. Exactly.
Really? That was gold? I even messed up a little bit and had to go back up to reload the photo trigger. What's up, Danny? Oh, I'm cutting it close, dude. Finish the lawn. Maybe we'll get my boogeyman if this time. Okay, so I need to get the hotel photo. Use life noodles on Jeff. So I wasted a bunch of time. I, I mean, I wasted time last run at the stairs glitches. I wasted more here, but... <laughs> hey, Ross, thanks for the luck, man. Congrats on the two-year work anniversary. And congrats on the really drunk. Okay, so instead of going up and going left, I'm gonna go left here, because I think this is gonna be a more optimal path. Like this, maybe. Jesus, dude. Yeah, right like that. Cool. So revive Jeff, save, and then we're going to do boogie. Yeah, they are, but I, what's up, Pixel? But I stayed on the beach, so they couldn't get me. Oh my god, Chili. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. You really have to go do that? Or you, you must be talking about Dr. Disrespect. Oh, that is what he said, right? Yeah, seconds before disaster. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I forgot he said that. He said he had to take a diarrhea. Oh, whoops. I didn't go to my out of bounds thing. Uh, yeah, did you see the meme I posted? Like, top 10 photos taken seconds before disaster, and it's him walking into the restroom. So I forgot to... Go out of bounds. Alright. I'm gonna make sure to try to avoid the, uh, the bush boss. Technically, I can use the map here, but there's Manip here. I forgot about the map when I was routing it. Hopefully this is good, so just BBR him. I think that was right. I think that was right. What do you mean, Azafel? I mean, if you're talking about Earthbound, it's pretty much just a bunch of psychic kids and one pixie boy beat up an alien. How much HP is he going to get here? Does he need a life up? Because I think we're going to go turn off spawns, right? He should be good from the HP here. That's a pretty good amount. Oh, I assume he's talking about Dr. Disrespect getting banned. 
I'm sorry, I thought you meant Earthbound. I thought it was kind of a weird question. Yeah, exactly. They were streaming in a bathroom. Yo, is it Minth? Is that how I say it? I see you changed your name. Yeah, weird indeed. Weird indeed. All right, we are going rug store. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. I think he was trying to be edgy. Still just minty? Okay. Duly noted, uwu. Okay, so Jeff will get his HP from the the master. Did you see we went through a part that had no music? It's probably just a completely unmapped area. Okay, see, the, the teddy is not active. I'm not going to move it either. I'm going to move the fly honey to Jeff, though. But this is how we turn off spawns right here. And we are going to... Chusen. You teleport away from here. Get the bike photo. Nah, I'm sure he, I'm sure he's not perma banned. There was even a tweet from like the director of creative whatever at Twitch, DJ Weed or whatever, and he was basically telling him you need to get a producer if you're going to do that, like someone that can stand over your shoulder and say it's not a good idea. You shouldn't stream from the bathroom. <laughs> Withdraw 400. We're going to Delam. It's probably the standard 30 days. He'll probably appeal it. You know, saying it wasn't me. He'll probably blame it on the cameraman, you know. Because someone said it at first he told the cameraman not to follow him the first time when he went in. I didn't hear that for myself. I've just read that. But he'll probably point to that, you know, like I try to tell him. Although, I said this earlier, he has priors. He, he got banned before. Because he tweeted something that was taken as like a threat or something, even though he blamed it on playing the, the character, right? So, he has priors, so I don't know if he'll be able to appeal it. But he's like a top 10 Twitch streamer. Yeah, technically it wasn't him. I mean, it was his stream, and he was the one running the show, but... As far as the law is concerned, he was not the one filming. And there's technically nothing in the TOS that says you can't film in a bathroom. I mean, that should just go without saying, right? But there's technically nothing in it, although it does say... It does say you can't film anywhere where it's against the law and under California privacy law. I, I read that there isn't. Although it does say you can't, you can't stream anywhere where it breaks the law and under the California privacy law it does. Is there actually something in there? I didn't look for myself again. I'm just basing it on what I read. Dude, there was one there was one kid, quote unquote, that was 17. You gotta be 17 to be there. And it's not like they were like filming, you know, his exposed junk or anything. People are, people are making a really big deal over that when I feel like that's not what people should focus on. Like people are doing the whole think of the kids. The whole think of the kids thing. Like it was one kid, all you could see was his back. 
Yeah, people are just like zeroing in on that. It was a seven. You can't you can't go to E3 unless you're 17. And all you can see was his back. But people are trying to turn it into like he was producing like child porn or something. I'm like, you're blowing it a little out of proportion. Like, let's focus on what he actually did. Right, but it doesn't explicitly say a bathroom, and I'm sure he will, uh... Wait a minute. Uh... Ooh, okay, I lost my place on my notes. I'm sure in his defense, he's gonna zero in on the fact, like, you know, it doesn't actually explicitly say I couldn't stream in a bathroom. Holy, thanks for the raid, man. Oh, fuck. Like, it shouldn't need to say that, but I'm sure that it will. I'm sure they'll probably update it to say it. What's up, uh, Max? Yeah, they can. It's not an employer-employee relationship. We're just independent contractors, 1099. Unless the bigger guys have different contracts. Like, he may have negotiated a different contract. So spawns are off right now. We're going to Winters. Well, I'm talking like the top 10 streamers on the site. Cause like Doc has a separate contract as part of Noble. His contract is different. Thank you, Shay. Uh, Winters. Appreciate it, luck. Exactly, I mean, I know a bathroom is private, but it doesn't explicitly say, and you know if he has a lawyer involved, they're gonna zero in on that. They're like, I mean, because technically the bathroom didn't have a door. It's one of the ones where you just walk in with no door. It's a little different from one where you have to like open a door. Because in a bathroom like that, you're pretty much in a commons area. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm sure a lawyer will zero in on that. And you know he's probably gonna have a lawyer handling the appeal. Uh, what do I do? Get the BBR. Yeah, he wasn't filming. The TOS doesn't explicitly say he can't film in a bathroom. And then he's going to probably zero in on the fact that... You know, it wasn't private because it's like a common area. Uh, teleport foresight, talk to manager. It, exactly, Glassjaw. Like, people are kind of blowing it out of proportion, but he does have some wiggle room there. Especially, like I said, the fact that there's no door on it. Anyone can just stick their head around the corner and see you. People are coming and going all the time. It's not that private. Now, if you're in a stall, it is. Or if you're, like, around the corner. But there were literally... Hold on. Okay, there were literally urinals in view from just sticking your head right around the corner. Like, you didn't have to go behind any sort of uh, divider or anything. Uh, chain Canner, I'm doing a run back. But again, he wasn't the one filming. And, and again, I'm playing devil's advocate here. And just saying, like, what his likely defenses will be.
Right, like I said, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Trying to think of any sort of defense that he would raise. Because again, I'm sure there's going to be a lawyer involved, the fact that it's potentially criminal. But he's probably going to throw his cameraman under the bus. Oh, I forgot to move the BBR. Well, the appeal is separate from the criminal aspect. If charges are even brought. Fuzzy Pickles, oh whoa. Yo, Neon Alpha, thanks for the one year. Holy shit. Thank you for the luck. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. BBR moved. What's up, Bobby Kins? Just doing some uh, all photos. What's up, Riley? What's up, Oshimi? Glove doesn't fit. You must have quit. That's right. Yeah, on his bob. I've been uh, branching out more. Riley, I lost a run to Gygus, but I kind of messed up a few things on the way throughout the run. Yeah, the Chewbacca defense. But I feel like the cameraman would be the one facing any potential criminal charges. I mean, he already had his E3 pass revoked. It's a good name. So I'm going to learn from my mistakes the last run, and hopefully we're just going to do better here. It took me about 10 minutes to do the stairs glitches, but... Riley, I was doing the wrong thing. That's what the problem was, but yeah. Uh, Dr. Disrespect was doing an IRL stream, and he went into a men's room, and his cameraman followed him. Hey, later, Glassjaw. Thanks for luck, man. So, so spawns are off here. Yeah, like some people were trying to say, well, you know, the cameraman was only filming because Dr. Disrespect wanted him to. I mean, in that case, you would be talking like conspiracy to violate privacy law or whatever, right? It just seems kind of far-fetched. Unless the, uh, unless the privacy law has some sort of clause in it, in, in the statute that says, you know, if you tell someone to film it, then you're criminally culpable as well. No, I didn't watch it. Why well, is for like murder and stuff? That's different, you know? Like someone brought that up when I was discussing it. And yeah, you know, there's like murder for hire and shit like that, obviously. If you hire someone for that, then you're, you're responsible too. Yeah, you got banned for IRL streaming in a bathroom. Exactly. Exactly, Max. Yeah, Bob, I mean, I have the rec <clears throat> the records for the other categories, so... Unlike when I had my 341.50, I don't want to grind against that shit forever like I did before. I figure I should... Because I, I had been saying I was going to get back to all photos for a long-ass time. Uh, we don't know. It's probably 30 days. And then he'll probably appeal it down to 7. That seems to be what always happens. Except he, uh, he has prior bans though, so I don't know if they will. Oh, what am I doing? Oh no, he lifed up. Cool, there's still enough. Yeah, I, I highly doubt it's permanent. Dr. Disrespect is too big to permaban. He makes way too much money. Like for Twitch. 
And you know the other thing too, it was his first IRL stream ever. He's gonna be like, it was my first one. I'm sorry, you know, I'm new to it. And then he'll probably say like, oh, you know, I've hired a producer, you know, to tell me when I'm doing something I shouldn't, blah, blah, blah. Does he live in California? Because if he doesn't live in California too, he could say, well, I didn't know about that privacy law. Although ignorance of the law is no defense, it could help with the Twitch ban. You know, legally it's not gonna save him. But, politically, like with Twitch, it might. But he needs to just play, like, if, for him, if I was his lawyer, he, I'd pretty much be telling him, like, play stupid. Well, he didn't take the camera, but obviously it was his stream. I need to life up Jeff. No, 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 I'm talking about Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, very weird. Dude, Doc would not be stupid enough to stream from a bathroom. Maybe he just thought that he was so big and important and no one would care. Or maybe it was all a big publicity stunt. It was his first one. That's the thing. He literally did his first IRL stream and got banned. So, you know, I'm sure he's going to blame that too. Like, it was my first one, you know? I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was nervous. You know, it was spur of the moment. But then they went back multiple times. That kind of works against them. You know, and I'm sure he's going to say like, oh, you know, I should have had a producer. I've hired one. Won't happen again. Blah, 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 blah. Like, DJ Wheat was basically giving him the out, you know, he was saying, you need to get a producer. Like, one of the top Twitch guys, he made a tweet about it, and he was like, you know, if you need help getting a producer, I'm more than happy to help you. So that's his out. His out is to say, you know, I'm sorry, I should have had a producer telling me that was a dumb idea. I just wasn't thinking. You know, everyone's trying to be spontaneous during IRL streams. I mean, I don't watch them. Like, I've watched them a couple times just to see what, like I said before, what all the fuss is about. But I don't, like, hate the dude. I don't really know enough about him. Oh, for sure. He should still definitely have at least a temporary ban. Dude, have I not been splitting? Dude, my hotkeys aren't working. What? My hotkeys aren't working. No, dude. My hotkeys are broken. Why, dude? I can't, I can't, oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. I'm an idiot. Whatever. I was hitting my old key I used to split with. What the hell's wrong with me? I just wasn't paying attention. Whatever. I think I was just hitting the wrong button. Yeah. Whew. Fucking save, dude. Okay, I'm gonna get the safety life noodles. Okay. Um. Okay, I, I, I couldn't find my place in my notes. I missed a few splits. Who cares? Yeah, stairs glitch is already done. Look, uh, Jaden? Did I say that right? Remember you telling me the other day? Yeah, I was, for some reason, I was hitting the button I used to split with. I used to split with page down. Now I split with numpad zero.
Yeah, he pulls in a lot, dude. He pulls in like millions, probably. Oh, did you did you say that earlier? I didn't see it. Sorry, I'm I'm following notes, so I'm having to jump between chat and read the notes. You should at me. In that case, remember what I said the other day? You should at me in that case. Yeah, Dr. Disrespect. This will cure the sunstroke. What's up, Cotalium? I highly doubt it's perma. Yeah, they'll probably tell him, like, you need to get a producer. Doctor, watch me take a piss. What's up, Papa Nug? They're really cool. I'm glad I caught it with the splits. And thanks for trying to tell me. Dr. Piss respect. Can't believe I was hitting the wrong key for... For three splits before I noticed. Well, I would have done it on the last one, but that's when I was realizing it. Okay, I guess I really don't need the 300 there. I guess if I get him stuck like this, I can just teleport straight up. Taking out piss for the gamers. Okay, where are we going? Uh, Tucson. Right? Okay, this is where I need to move the... the teddy. And then heal this. I guess I didn't have to do that. Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth it for the teddy, dude. I might just drop it later. Because, you know, you do the menu. I could just menu and do healing beta afterwards. But yeah, apparently he went back not once, not twice, not even three times. Apparently he went back a fourth time. Which makes it a lot harder for him to be like, oh, it was a spontaneous thing. Like, he clearly wanted to fucking stream from the, the bathroom for some reason, dude. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it was. I guess I could have done rocket in there. Maybe that would have been a one round. I don't remember. I don't think so. I, I think I had a hard time finding a one round there. So see, I don't have to do healing beta now, but now I still have to drop the teddy. I think I should just drop it. Or actually, 
I could just leave it on Paula and it'll never be active. And I'll just never have to worry about it. Unless it messes up the inventory at, uh, at Gygas or something. Because I feel like it's more menuing to have that happen than it is to just do healing beta to cure it. Thanks, Oshimi. Thanks for luck. Have a good one. Okay, where are we going after this? Okay, drop the teddy. We're going to Forside. It's a very tight teleport. Got it. Okay, Monotoli to Playground. Got it. First try, although it took me a little bit to set it up. I failed it once on the last run. Hello. Just Alpha, no thanks. Too hard. Way too hard. I don't even think that'd be possible. It's actually cursor over and hit right for that one. No, the a beta is not even possible in Monotoli. What's up, V? This is all photos. So that happened last time. I'm gonna have to look at that. Cause that's supposed to one shot. Oops. Yeah. That's supposed to one shot, like manip, but it's it's done the same thing both times. Yeah, it's not a very popular category. I think there's only like what like five runs on the leaderboard. No, I don't want her to die. Now it's not new. Ultimo ran it at GDQ uh, last year, the GDQ quick, quick fix or whatever. I ran it like a year and a half ago for like a month or so. As you can tell by my attempt count, I didn't do it very many times. You're going to see a wrong warp coming up that you don't ever really see in any other categories. Oh, I think I'm supposed to do an input on the ladder, but I don't have it in my notes. Maybe I forgot what it was. Wrong warp. So she gets healed right here. All right, watch this. No, it's not. But spawns are off for for large segments of it. So you don't really need to manip much other than the boss fights. I highly doubt that 
they would do that. I mean, we've had it on like, we've had it on like Limit Break or like Speed Gaming. That was a wrong warp because we, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, shh, fuck. Um, go straight to four side. Because Hunter said you don't need to go to Tendo. And go to the hotel. Sorry, like I said, I'm trying to follow the notes here. Um, so I got the exit mouse location updated earlier after Boogie. And since I've been going out of bounds to places, the exit mouse only gets updated when you go in the front door to an area. And I never did that. So the last location that the exit mouse knew of me entering was the, uh, the tunnel there. So I'm trying what Hunter said. He said to just skip the phone call and go straight to Starman base. I hope this works. I mean, I, I trust that he's right. We're going to Starman base. Because last run, I went and triggered the Apple Kid phone call. So he said, you don't, said you don't need to do it. What's the hint? I have no idea. He's a tough boy. Manip to win, dude. Manip to win. So since spawns are off, RNG3 is off. That's why it's so easy to manip this stuff. It's just all your menuing. That happened last time? I don't think that happened last time, but we beat him. I don't remember. It might have, I don't remember. Was it? Yeah, I felt like it was different. Okay, we're going to teleport to Onet and get the Shyness book. Oh, nice man. Congrats, Chili. Teleport to Onet. I don't know if I have to life her up, but I'm going to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did I turn around? Thank you, Minato. Thank you for luck. Okay, now go to Tenda.
A little unsure about the Dragon Knight. I don't even really think I need it. If I'm gonna manip it, but... I I'll get it anyway, just in case somehow my, my manip is off at, uh... At what's-his-face. Oh, I forgot to split. I was reading my notes. Go ahead and get it. We are going to... Four side. Oh, you get the photo, you get the phone call right here anyway. I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay, we're going to Foreside, Bonatoli to Lumen Hall, Lumen Hole. Well, it's not really a skip because you still get it. I guess you don't need it before Starman base. So if it's needed for anything else, we still got it. So it seems like seems like everything's good. Because all we did was move getting it from before Starman base to after, but we skipped teleporting there just to get it. Since we have to go back anyway. Oh yeah, we'll beat Gygus. Or we're gonna try anyway. It's not guaranteed. I died to Gygus last run. We're gonna try. That run was fucked anyway. That run was fucked, man. Better than nothing, that's right. It did. It did work. You're right. I got it right after that. So... Going to Brick Road now. So I'm not even going to bother this time with the skip sandwiches before Magic Ant. I'm just going to do the manip and I'm going to do it right. I looked at where it worked. I got a visual cue. I think I'm good. All right, here's the funny, uh, the funny walk. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I don't know what you're talking about. All the out of bounds. I'm using a second file and I'm dying on the stairs and then I'm soft resetting. Saying no, I don't want to continue. And yes, I'm sure. Do the glitches command. And there's an explanation of the stairs glitch. I'm doing the one where you die and use a second file. Hacking, dude, I'm hacking. You can't instant win this because it's a scripted fight. Damn cookie, dude.
if I can read it from the side. Nice. Minor time save. All right, where are we going after this? Back to Underworld. Get the C pendant. Do 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 do. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think those are eyeballs. I think they're just reflections in his glasses. Well, we miss a lot of them, dude. We miss a lot. No chance to hard lock because spawns are off. Yeah, I think in glitchless we only get like three. The uh, the one before the waterfall, the one at the end of the game, which you can't avoid, and the one after uh, um, mole cave. Oh, I didn't equip the sea pendant. Damn it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it right out here. I'll do it when I teleport out here. Good question, I don't know. I guess there's just no collision detection there or something. Probably. Oh yeah, the Tenda, I forgot about Tenda. So I guess we get four. Later, Beta. Have a good night, man. Thanks for the luck. I hope I talked to the miner, because I was messing with my splits. If I didn't, I won't get the diamond. Okay, good, I did. Thanks for the luck, man. Waterfalls? What do you mean? Well, if you had teleport, yeah, but you, you have no way of getting it. Okay, teleport back to Foresight and watch the show. I need to put the C pendant on first. But yeah, if you had it, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Hey, watch this show. That means give her the damn diamond first. got that last time oh I got that DM cookie still I'll drop it when I uh, when I talk to her or give her the diamond I all right time to not fuck up <laughs> the shopping like in my other run Eating it would be slower. You have to watch the show. Department store is not open until you do. Routing this run will teach you about a lot of event triggers in the game. Like what has to be done before certain things. Eat the diamond. I imagine so. Dude, I don't know what's up with all these damn caterpillars or whatever. 
But they, they look like caterpillars. There's like just since the other day, there's been a bunch of them in here. Okay, what do I do here? I uh, get the. Okay, don't skip the photo. Last time I skipped this photo. Um. Maybe's why to term. I know if you delay getting the town map, so this isn't what you asked, but. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, I mean, don't forget the actual photo. Like, I skipped this last time. I had to come back and get it. Um. I mean, I wasn't very far away. But I know if you don't get the town map, because we used to get it later in the route. One time I was like, oh, I'll just go back and get it later. Well, once the lady has the shyness book text, you can't get the map anymore. So there are some things like that. I think doing boogie makes you lose the foresight teleport or something like that. Which is a problem. So you have to get four? No, no. There's something like that. I, I know there was some problem with like losing a teleport with Boogie. I don't remember what it was though. Trying to, Kairos. Trying to, man. Knocking them down like dominoes. One, two, three, one, whoop, 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 two, three, one. Two, three. I think you can skip anything with teleport or any sort of trigger on the map. You cannot stutter or photos. I mean, you can't stutter photos. You can't skip that one because you get that through a door transition. Oh, I forgot the BBR for car painter. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, I'll go back and get it. Wait, enemies are back on, right? Oh, no. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. At least it was green. And I don't know if he's here. I don't know if he's here since it turned dark. Fuck it, dude. I'm just leaving. I'll just have to beat Car Painter some other way. I I'm not risking those enemies. Thank God there was nothing down here. Oh, I spoke too soon. Get the fuck out of here. That was dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, I, I can't, dude. I can't. Um, teleport winners. Like, I it's too late. I fucked up. I'll just have to beat him normally. I mean, I have all four kids. It's not a big deal. Like, car painter's easy when you have the full party. I want to have Paula, but I can just freeze and rock in him. I don't understand your question. Okay, detour for the Toto photo. No, those are instant. Uh, Dr. Randolph, yes to have. No, Rithium has done it. I think James did it once. I think Pink Panther did it.
It's like the closest thing to RBO. Ah, I split lore earlier there. Uh, I saw him not that long ago. Raise the Franklin badge. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna do a rocket in a freeze. It should kill him. Okay. So like I said, it's not a big deal. The BBR is just convenience. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but the lightning could go on another kid, or... Yeah, it could have hit another kid, I guess. That's all I was gonna say. Okay, now we go get Paula back. Well, I had her, she left in department store, so we have to get her back. But yeah, we can. Because we haven't gotten her yet. The way she was in the party was from the, uh, the cutscene in 3 with the mysterious lady. You know, it just puts her in there. Or was it the poo sequence? No, it was from the lady, right? Pretty sure it was from the lady. Or maybe not. Maybe it was Pooh sequence. I think she, no. I think she's in the cutscene there, but she she doesn't actually join your party. No, she does. No, she doesn't. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Might be Pooh sequence. It's one of the two. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, cabin photo. Move the Franklin badge. Teleport to Tucson. Uh oh. This is gonna be a tight teleport. Move the badge and teleport. Oh no, you little fucker, dude. Please, please, please. Okay, foof. All right, teleport. Tucson, go to the department store. Time to get revenge on this magic camp manip. Yeah, it was close. Those crows weren't there before. America, thank you for the 69 bits for the good luck. I appreciate it. Come on, let's beast this out first try. Or at least not take 100 like last time. Got my notes up. I mean, there's a notes run. Here we go. Time to get redemption.
pretty soothing, even though it's stressful. Thank you, Odine. Thank you. Oh, no. Cool. So I don't need the Dragonite there, although I did use an extra bomb. I was supposed to go to the MBR in two cursors, but something was different about Jeff's inventory, and it took three. But hey, I hit the Manip. Whatever. Yeah, first try. I didn't get the one shot with the MBR. Because uh, I couldn't... I, something's different about Jeff's inventory. I couldn't do... I couldn't do two cursors to the MBR. I had to do three. But I still beat him in one round with a bomb and the MBR. You're right, man. It's the sex number. So that that is redemption from last time. So I would say we're on PB pace after that. I did take a long time with the... Uh, with the stairs glitches. Longer than the previous run. But I feel like this run has been cleaner in other areas. Like I didn't safety save in winners, although that's small. But you, uh, no, I don't think so. EXP is set. Like it's 200,000 for the bonus and then however much Nightmare is. You can do the EBDB, EBDB command, see how much Nightmare gives. Oh, I know why the inventory is different because I didn't move the crystal charm to Ness and then move it back. So I'll have to look at that. And I really should be using the Dragonite there. Oh, really? That's weird. All right, don't mess up the 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 trip to meteorite this time. So Hey, Crystal Charm is still on Jeff. I never moved it. Thank you, thank you. If I don't fuck anything up and if I do Gygus the first try, I'll PB. Pretty sure. Hey, okay, teleport to winners. Yeah, the, they toned it down on the Wii U VC in the SNES Classic. So basically the thing with the Manip is I guess the timing on the AB times 2 is kind of tight. And I didn't have a visual cue for it or anything, I was just kind of feeling it out. Okay, Saturn Valley, teleport, go out of bounds and go up.
I've been really good with going on these stairs. You don't know how often I used to mess that up. Like this menu, you have to actually cursor over and press yes. Thanks for luck, Arts. Appreciate it. Or like I'd get stuck rather than getting down there. All right, go up. We're going up. Hello. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. So I messed this up last run. I went out the exit here, thinking I was in Lierre's house for whatever reason. But we gotta keep going. Watch out for enemies. None. You can get a couple spawns out there. There's like one or two spawn plates. Okay, give the meteor. Meteor, meteor right. Do, 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 do. All right. Getting close to a shot at redemption. I just hope my inventory is good. I don't have those damn skip sandwiches, so I feel good about that. No, they're not off right now. But there's only like one spawn plate right outside that house and one just below it, down to the right, and those are only 8% spawns. So, and it's pretty much manipped, like the walk I do. I mean, I didn't do anything special for it, but I guess I just end up on a good RNG seed for my walk. Spawns turned back on when I got the diamond. You'll notice that the broken phase distorter is not here, just like in any percent, because we didn't beat Moni Moni. It's not there. Oh yeah, just spawn points. I, I misread your question. I thought you were asking if they were disabled. Because they're disabled for a lot of the run. Right. What's up, Danny? Yo, Danny, what's a dude gotta do to get his Shadowgate PBs verified around here? Kappa? Like, both my glitchless and my glitched run. It's been like a week and a half on glitchless and like a week on glitched. <laughs> General has his outstanding as well. So does Hannibal Graham. Like, there's quite a few people with runs. I don't... General didn't do glitch, did you? I don't think he did. But Hannibal did glitch as well. Glitched and glitchless. Yeah, you should try it, General. It's a fun little... Fun little route, man. It's pretty easy. I can send you my notes if you want. I mean, there's not much to it. No, glitch Shadowgate. I mean, this is glitch DB right now. <clears throat> yeah, I'll send them to you. No, Shadowgate as well. But yeah, Hannibal has been doing any percent, though. Out of bounds, I believe.
Do the glitches command if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm doing the stairs glitch. It's got a good write up. Okay, on turn two, I'm going to look and see if I can do all the bombs in one cursor. I'm going to take a moment and look because I'm still not sure about my. Still, what's up, William? Still not sure about my inventory. What do you mean? What do you mean, how's the record 207? I'm not done after Gygus. I have to go clean up and get photos after Gygus if you're thinking I'm almost done. Plus timing ends at uh, talking to mom. Yeah, I mean, I did it a long time ago, but not this route. Okay, I'm going to look and see and make sure I can do all these in one cursor again. But yeah, this is a new route from when I did it. Okay, I can do it in not. No, I can't do it in one. I'll skip the AB. Ooh, that wasn't right. This isn't right. I hope this works and I hope we don't die. Cool. So we're not on the manip. I'm a little scared here. Did I just get a turn skip? Please work. Okay, I'm gonna life her up. Since I had a free turn. Nice solidify. Sweet. Perfect. In there, dude. So I don't know what that was, but maybe I should look that up and do it every time as the manip. The only thing here is my manip would have had all the kids die off. And that star storm damage was low. It was only 600 something. It was supposed to be like 800 something. Nice solidify. Free turn. Awesome. Yeah, that's what it feels like when you do the stairs glitch. So, after this, I have to get some photos. Timing ends when you talk to mom. Winter text box closes to trigger the credits. So, we should have a PB here, unless something stupid happens.
not gonna be world record or anything, but it'll be a PB. I wasted too much time on the stairs glitches earlier. It took, it took me probably like 10 minutes to do it. It was longer than last run. Plus I need some of these kids to die. Ness doesn't have the night penny here, so he can die from flash. Just like that, perfect. Perfect. Just wish you would have done to Jeff too. This is Earthbound, man. But spawns are off in the post game, and I'm gonna go around and do some cleanup. This could maybe get second place. Maybe get second place, I'm not sure. But this segment alone is like seven minutes. It's good that Ness is dead. Now I don't have to do any menus and get any text for him. But yeah, Chili, this is a new route from when I did it like a year and a half ago. All right, now I want Jeff to die. Damn it. Supposed to kill Jeffrey. Yeah, it's because the route's completely different. I had to delete all my split times. And the record does a different route. James and Ultimo had competing, like, dueling routes for a while. And I did a version of Ultimo's route where he rerouted it. Like, it wasn't quite finished. There were a few things in it that didn't work and had to be rerouted. And then a couple other things that he just left to be figured out later. Like, to be determined that I had to do. Because after the barricade skip... Hit Jeff! After the barricade skip and the winner's cliff skip, it kind of blew the route open, just like any percent. Ultimo had the record before the barricade skip. He got a pretty easy PB with it. And then James got the record from um, doing the barricade skip and the winner's cliff skips. Ultimo rerouted his route to work that in and changed some other stuff to take it back, but then he just got too busy with work. And he never... Uh, he never got around to doing it, so I was talking to him about it the other night, and he offered to give me his notes. Uh, you know, why obviously he said, you know, you're gonna have to put the finishing touches on it. And so I went through and put the finishing touches on it. Like, I did the magic camp manip, and uh, I figured out, like, the timing for the stairs glitches and shit like that. But it's mostly his route. So big, uh, big props to him for routing it out. Ooh, empty turn. Because I think I did his route before. I don't remember. No, I think I might have done it before he really started running it. I think I did James' route before. Now, this category is known as James' baby. So if anybody ever beats him, he might come back. Although I don't think he did when Ultimo did. Would you kill Jeff? Jeff. What the f dude? Die. Yeah, I hear a lot of people say that, Riley. That's right. Don't worry, he'll come back to life. It's only temporary. Kill Jeff. What? Do, do, do. So I think I wasted like 10 minutes on the stairs glitches. So if I if I am less than 10 minutes off the record, I feel like I could world record with this route. Because it took more attempts to hit it this run than it did last run, but I messed up other things in the other the other attempt. And then I know I missed a couple splits, but I couldn't always just edit my splits off the VOD to add them back in.
Okay, now I have to do a different menu for him because he's feeling... No, 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 he's feeling strange. Never mind, he's not... I was thinking paralyzed. Never mind. Come on, turn skip. Cool, no solidifies. Yeah, it's it's really weird the first time you see it because Gygas kind of destroys it. So I think second is like 213. I think there's a chance of beating that, but I I'm I don't I can't get the record here because I've still got to go. I've got to walk to Foresight, get that photo. Or no, walk to Grapefruit, get that photo. I've got to go to Foresight, i got to beat Spook and get the department store photo because it's not active until you beat him. Then I have to go to Tucson, get the Chaos Theater photo, and then go to PRV and get that photo, and then go home. So there's a lot of stuff to do still. 213, okay. Uh, B-Boy, I beat Gygus, but this run isn't over. We, we still go get photos in the, uh, in the post game. What's up, Rosetta? So the 213 might be on the table. I don't know. It's going to be close. You mi did you miss the run back, B-Boy? Well, hey, it's not over yet. It ain't over till it's over. I was irritated. I went and got a snack and I was fine. I was hangry, dude. Hangry. But yeah, I was definitely irritated, but I went and got a snack and then uh, felt better. Looked at uh, The thing is, there's not a lot of breaks in this run for like bathroom or water. That's the only thing. Yeah, I need like a Snickers bar. Yeah, this should be a, this should be a PB at this point because spawns are off. All I gotta do is go do some cleanup. So this will be for sure third place unless something stupid happens, like my power goes out. I, it, dude, it wouldn't even surprise me if it did. <laughs> if internet goes out, I'm local recording. Like a little gremlin or whatever in the door. I guess I don't really need the enemy, like the boss splits. Those are just kind of notes to me, but I feel like this is always kind of going to be a notes run. Like, I don't think I would ever memorize this. There's just too much shit. Like all the out of bounds. <coughs> Raptor! Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Actually, I don't even think this is going to be second. I forgot how long this was. I don't know. It'll be close. It'll be close. But this should at least be third. This should at least move up one spot on the leaderboard. Which is cool. It's a PB and a a bop at least, at least one. Yeah, this I forgot how long this takes. And like I said, this is this is with wasting like ten minutes on the stairs glitches. That's the hardest part of the run. Just like this. The stairs glitches for many percent, except they're both like the third one with no visual cue. All right, I need to walk to Grapefruit. And then teleport for side. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't actually watched it. The comment says it was his first run with the winner's cliff skips. So, I don't know. And like I said, he does a different route, so I really don't know. Why do I feel like this text is printing slower than normal? Is it just me, or is this printing very slowly? Is 
it normally this slow and I've just never noticed? Oh my god. Get the fuck out of the way. Dude, it just sped up. Yeah, it's all the damn sprites. Holy shit. Like, I could feel it speed up when they unloaded. I was wondering, I'm like, there's no way I did this whole entire run on medium tech speed, but then I remembered the manip wouldn't work on medium. That felt like medium, though. Extra medium. Okay, after this, teleport to Foreside and fight Spook. Ooh, this RNG is so good. Whoop, 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 whoop. What? I did split. I split. Look, it's happy music with dark department store. Kind of goofy. Wait, I forgot I lost some time in here because I forgot the BBR, so car painter was a little slower. Although, I mean, then you save on not shopping. And then, uh... You know, I walk back up and got that green or whatever. Okay, so fight Spook, get the photo, and then teleport to Tucson. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be second. I think I'm going to just barely miss it. Because I've still got a bit to do, but it'll be third. I'll move up one spot at least. I guess I still have the Dragonite. I'll just use that. Got him. Got him. Okay, so get the photo. Yeah, she's definitely a Monotoli. Get the photo, go out, teleport to Tucson. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I split when the shutter closes. That way I don't have to stop mashing. And I think I'm going to delete the enemy splits and just split on all the photos for this category. Okay, so teleport to Sin. Where am I going? Get the Chaos Theater photo. You have to get the backstage pass first or else it's not active. And then walk to PRV. We, we got to do the whole Apple Kid sequence. To get the pencil eraser. I guess I could get skip sandwiches for this part. Kind of like when you go to Mondo Mall. See, the photo's not active. Just in case you didn't believe me. So, in order to get the pencil eraser, we have to go over here. Again, enemies are off because it's post-game. But you have to walk up, get the trigger. I'll just teleport back to Tucson after the phone call. It's a little faster than walking over there, and I'll just go in the back entrance to Berglund Park. Yeah, so this will probably end up being a few minutes off a uh, second. But it'll, it'll, like I said, be a pretty good PB. This will be like a 10 minute PB. Even after losing like 10 minutes. At the damn stairs glitches. So peaceful here during post game.
There's a photo up there, which is why I have to do that. Yeah, I kind of have to go too. Like I said, there's not many bathroom break. The only bathroom break in this run is like Skyrunner, and that's near the very beginning. It'd be nicer if it was like in the middle. Wait a minute. Why didn't he call? Oh, I didn't feed him. Oh my god. Oh, dude. That sucks. That's that's a big ouch. I forgot to feed him. Fuck. Oh god. So that's a few minutes lost. It, I, it's not in my notes and I forgot. I need to add a note so I don't forget. I mean, it's not gonna... I'm still gonna end up moving up to third place, I think. I don't think that's... That's not enough time lost to affect that. It's just free time save for next run. I want to try something here. It'll lose a few seconds, but I want to see if I can go ahead and trigger the phone call right here, or if I really have to go all the way back there now. I probably do. Nope. Look, so I'm saving time. I'm so smart. And then I immediately fuck up the teleport, because for some reason, I was thinking I could just go straight out of there, but I can't. Wait, the mouse went up? So that saved on having to walk in there. Okay, do not, do not fight Everdrin. That could happen. So that at least cut down on the time loss. Because in my mind, I was like, okay, well, I've already gotten that trigger technically walking up there. So, you know, you need both triggers to trigger him being there to get the pencil eraser so i was like what if what if i can just go through the door that's good to know though because i didn't know that so that's not it's not as bad as it was going to be because of that learn something new okay so get the photo and then teleport to Onet and then go up to the end. We're almost done. Get up, get up there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a note in there. Don't forget that. Do, 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 do. How convenient to have a teleport spot right here. Yep, noted. Now we're going to get the last one. I'll skip the dialogue before the house, but I'm not going to skip the photo. Kind of the point of the game. What's the clip? All right, almost done. Oh yeah, I'll take a look at that when I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport to the door, skip the text. Cause she like talks. 
right there. There we go. And I'm sure that was a late split there because the thing is you have to split when you're done talking to her, so. It's probably still a 41, but I'll have to look. All right, dude. That makes up for losing that run earlier. I'm happy with that. And like I said, I, I wasted 10 minutes on the stairs glitches. Yeah, I, and I wasted 10 minutes on the stairs glitches, so that's that's it, man. And now I have splits to run against. I missed a couple splits. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, edit those in. Thank you on all of the uh, the GGs. Why was that such a big gold? Oh, because I didn't... Uh... I, I, it's probably because of how I rearranged my splits or something. I don't know. Or maybe I forgot to delete the gold there. No, that would make sense. Sub K tap. Yeah, so this, uh, this is my first PB in this category in what? Like a year and a half? New route. I literally lost a run to Gygus the run before this, so I'm very happy to uh, to finish this. Do, 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 do. Yep, I'm in third place now. Maybe, Siren. Either lucky or good. Well, I'm sure as hell not lucky. Yeah, and uh, so credits to Ultimo for the route. I did have to... Uh, like I said, kind of finish it up. It, it was sort of like an unfinished route. It was like, I'd say it was like 90% done. But like that Magicant Manip, the, uh, like the Magicant Manip was mine. <laughs> I know, Arts, it's crazy. Like I did the Magicant Manip and, uh, I did all the setup for the stairs glitches that I lost 10 minutes on. So I have nobody to blame for the Magicant stuff and the stairs glitches other than me. The Cave of the Past and Gygus Manip is Ultimo's, but I sort of branched off and went a little different. Like did a little bit of different stuff towards the end. This run, I dropped the Manip, I got really lucky. Hey Pretzel, thanks for the 100 bits, man. Thank you. So in this run, uh, like I'm not gonna go over my splits or anything, cause I don't remember what the fuck I did on every split, but I will say that in department store, I forgot to buy the BBR for, uh, for Jeff and I went back up the stairs and then I was like, oh no, spawns are back on because I had just turned them back on by getting, because you turn spawns off by doing the teleport beta away from the shack fight and then you turn them back on getting the diamond because the diamond is a cutscene. Cutscenes turn spawns off and then back on at the end. Like the bus, when you ride the bus because you don't want to be running people over. But um, you're right, Sierra, and it's true. But so I went up there, I got really lucky and got a green swirl and then I decided just to, just to get the hell out of there. And so I just did car painter with a rockin' and a freeze. Which really, I mean, it's probably about even, but I shouldn't have wasted the, uh... I shouldn't have wasted the trip up there. So that would be a time save. And then... It took me forever. Yeah, I don't know why it says 10 minutes. That's weird. What's up, Luca? But it took me forever. It probably took me about 10 minutes, really, to get the, uh, the stairs glitches. It might have been more. I I'll have to go back and check. But um, if if I want the record in this category, I would pretty much have to get those stairs glitches like first try. There, there might be enough room for second try. But uh, everything else is pretty good. I didn't safety save in winners this time. I probably won't anymore. I mean, I really don't need to after all the work on any percent. So this was honestly kind of the best category to switch to after all that work on any percent because we do the barricade skip, although we do the older one in this version, but it's still one I've done. I did it in my 52.23. So we do the barricade skip. We do we, we do star me a minute, but you do that in glitchless. We do the barricade skip. We do the two soon cliff skips. We do the winner's cliff skips. And then we do like the graveyard minip, although the graveyard minip in this one's different. And then for most of the, the out of bounds in this category, we do the, uh, we do the, whatchamacallit, the, this other version where you die. Let me take a screenshot of my splits here. Cool. Yeah, save them too. So now I have splits to run against, that's cool. Uh, tomorrow will be the last one. I'll post an announcement about it. Oh, oh, that's right, Pretzel, you're right. Let me, uh, let me do that right now. Um, theater photo. Feed Apple Kid. 
or else you will cry. Yeah, so I completely forgot about that. So that is, um, that's another time save, although I reduced how much it hurt. Damn it, Mozzie. Congratulations. Thank you for trying to block it, Arts. Got to do the single letter. But yeah, so, uh, oh, that, yeah, that's right. Like, uh, maybe I should pick up Skip Sandwiches there. But I'm, I'm worried that they would mess up my inventory. I, I would have to look at that guy, I guess. Or maybe I could throw him on Paula. I don't know. Or maybe I could buy him earlier so that I get the bombs after. But then you have mini lag. I don't know. I mean, you don't walk as far. Like, you don't go all the way to, like, to happy happy, you know. So maybe it's not worth it. And then, uh, you know, you do, like, the little teleport. But yeah, I lost some time from not feeding Apple Kid. But that, but that was smart thinking. Thank you, Kelsey. Appreciate it. That, that was smart thinking on my part to see if I could just trigger the phone call without going all the way back. Because my first instinct was go all the way back in there. So at least I stemmed the, uh, the the blood flow a little bit. But yeah, thank you. This moves me up to third. I'm four minutes off second place and then about ten minutes off the record. And I definitely wasted that much time in this run. I got the magic campment at first try. Although I didn't get the proper... Um, nightmare fight. I need to look and see if I really need to get the Dragonite. I used the Dragonite on Spook just because I had it. Saturn Valley, you would have to go all the way up to the shop. It's kind of out of the way. Um, Yeah, I mean, I had the Dragonite on Spook, but I think what I did in my playthrough on Emulator when I was learning it, I just did Rockin'. Rockin' in, uh, in Freeze. I mean, I guess I could keep the Dragonite for him. That was pretty quick. But really, I intended to use the Dragonite on uh, on Nightmare. But due to the inventory changes, I'm going to have to review the VOD and uh, play around with that Manip a little bit. Because I did not get the the full Manip that, uh, that Ultimo did. Although it ended up being pretty damn good. And then Phase 3 was pretty good. All right, so I got the note about Apple Kid. Oh, I need to take out the uh, the thing about going to Tenda. Like I put a note on it, but I left it in. So shout outs to Hunter for telling me that, that you don't have to go trigger Apple Kid phone call from Tenda before Starman base. You end up getting it anyway, because you go to, at least in this route, you go to Tenda Village afterward to get the uh, the photos and stuff and you. You have to go out decide the deep darkness to teleport away so you end up getting it anyway so i don't know if that's a required trigger for anything but all you do is basically delay it from before saturn saturn from before starman base to after it but uh yeah that's good that's good I'm, so i'm happy to get a pb with this like obviously tomorrow is probably gonna be my last stream for a while for a few weeks maybe going on hiatus but uh I'm glad I at least got a PB, because I, I really spent more time on this than I thought, because there was quite a bit left to, to finish up. Like the Magic Camp Manip and everything. Yeah, I'm going out of town and stuff, and then I'm moving. Like, it just kind of worked out where they're happening, like, back to back. I'll be sending, I'll be putting out announcements, so... You know, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, all that stuff. Yeah, last stream forever, until the next one. That's right. But yeah, so like I said, join the Discord. Here, I'll do the thing. I will do the thing. So, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Like, subscribe, all that other bullshit. Just kidding. <laughs> and I'm really glad the internet worked because I, uh, I power cycled the modem before I started. With the... Uh, with the fear that it wasn't gonna work. Yep, you know, you know, you know how it is, you know the deal. But I really redeemed myself with that Magic Camp Manip. And that's pretty, I mean, that like I said, I literally came up with that Manip in like two hours. Like I, I, that Magic Camp Manip, I literally made that Manip today. Like this afternoon, in a few hours. So all that time spent in the previous run, effing it up, paid off, because I checked the VOD and I looked exactly where I did it. And then there were a few other things that were a little, 
a little weird. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll go look and see how much time I wasted on the stairs glitches because I'm just, I mean, 10 minutes is an estimate. It could have been more, it could have been less. If, I feel like if anything, it's probably more. It felt like it took forever because I don't know how much time each uh, out-of-bounds sequence dying on the stairs is. But it definitely took longer than last run, but everything else was better. So this is cool. This, this feels really good to... Uh... Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear the Starman music? I'm glad that uh, I got this PB. Oh, I know why it said 703, because I beat my PB by 703. It was 703 from my last split, which was Starman Jr. Like, I PB'd by 7 minutes and 3 seconds. Yeah, I'm going on vacation, and then I'm, like, moving, like, back to back. It's just kind of weird how it worked out. Like I said, I'm going to be posting an announcement on Discord, and I'll be talking about it on Twitter. So if you want to follow me with all that stuff, just uh, hop into Discord. The invite's right there. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. But th this was cool. This was cool. I, uh, I feel really good about this. So this was second night of attempts. I don't count the previous night or whatever because my internet went out after an hour. Although that wasn't really... I wasn't really ready for prime time because the timing for the stairs glitches was different on console from emulator. So I had, to, I had to grind out the practice. I did that yesterday and today. But I'm happy with this. This moves me up to third. So it was a PB and... Uh, a move up one spot on the leaderboard. Happy about that. This was my first PB in this category in like a year and a half. I've been talking about coming back to this category for like a year. And I, I said, you know, if I got the glitchless record back, I would do it. But then I lost any percent. Had to go do any percent. And finally came back. So, you know, you know what they say, better late than never. But I uh, appreciate everybody sticking around. I know the last run I did before this one. So this was a run back. I lost the other one at Gygus because the manip was off and my inventory was wrong. And it wasn't going to be a, be a PB anyway because I, I had to try the Magic Camp manip like 10 times to get it. It was horrible. So got it first try with this one. Redeemed myself. I'm very happy with this. Um, even if I don't get another PB before, uh, before I go out of town and move and all that shit. At least got something out of it. Happy about that. So this is a win. This is a win in my book. And I was pretty bummed out about that other one. So I'm very happy to get this, get to go out on a high note. Good stuff. Like I said, thanks again, everybody, for all the support. Appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for watching and for sticking around with all the uh, the time that I spent grinding this out, remember? Because I, I started trying to learn this. I started trying to learn this on uh, console, and it just wasn't working out without save states. So appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. I'm very happy with this PB, and there will be more to come because this is a... Uh, it's a fun little route. It's a fun little change of pace from their categories. But thanks again, everybody. I appreciate it.